the frosted glass ball. Yes. Um, d why did you choose, like, you know, some people make, you know, they yeah. get wood and they paint wooden <laughs> things for their tree. Yeah. And then how much trial and error? Yeah. And then can we talk about the different mediums you use? And we yes. can just, can I bring up this one first? This is your, like, winter wonderland. Yes, that's so one of my favorite. It, it also took zoom, the most time. <laughs> zoom in on this, yeah, if you could. I'll spin it around. This is like a winter wonderland. It's a whole story in here. We got yes. the skaters. We got Billing snowman. snowman. We got the reindeer and Santa. So, little so, church so talk and about town. this. <coughs> you got a church. You got a village. <laughs> well, I started actually, um, I was always good with, with pen and small details. Uh -huh. If you ask me to draw you a cat I wouldn't, uh, or a dog, I probably wouldn't do a good job. But I was always good with the little. So I was using frosted ornaments because I could draw on them with, with fine pen and India ink. And those Oh, so you're like dipping them in fine pen. Exactly. Wow. Was, wow okay. Then filled with color and, um, uh, and um, uh, that was nothing like this. I, that's what I started with. We however, don't have one of those original types. No, I'm no. sorry. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's okay. And however, it, I, after a while I realized that, that it's still a Christmas ornament. Mm -hmm. So when you have something with a tiny fireplace on it, you, you admire it in your mm -hmm. hands. Right. But it doesn't show really uh, on the tree. Right. It does not show. So I had to come up with a different thing. And also, did you ever notice if you have an ornament and you hang it on a tree, it always for some reason turns around and you see the back of it. Right. So I wanted to do something that it's pretty all so, all around. So, yeah, you don't so feel no like, oh, no I'm missing part of the picture. Exactly. So these and are so snow so. miniatures. Now, yeah. what kind of paints are you using now and what did you start with? And it yeah. looks like you do some glazing they are all and a lot just, of glittering. So, um, yeah. Well. The glitter and glazing, it's really to, to protect, mm -hmm. to protect it. And they look great on the Christmas tree, you know, with lights. Uh, yeah, it like sparkles, yes. sparkling. This um, right if, you, if you, I was using just plain wa watercolor paints. Mm -hmm. And if you. Watercolor, really? Yes. Okay. Wow. After, if you didn't preserve it or mm -hmm. glaze it or something. And uh, it would peel off. Right. That's how I come up with different techniques to uh, to put a glaze or a glue over it and then the glitter. So and do you just like read something on YouTube or book and then you go like, let me try this kind of a glaze or how did you?